Hey guys, Hermo Dime City Cycles, and wanted to show you a quick little uh, tip, trick, whatever you want to call it, um, for installing Makuni carburetors on your uh, stock CB intake manifolds. So I'm going to flip the camera over and, and show you a little bit of detail here on exactly what I'm talking about and why you might want to do that. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a Makuni VM, uh, probably 30, but the 30 to 34 is the outside diameter is the same. It's the inside diameter that's a little bit different. And then this is your stock CB350 CV carburetor. So here's the issue. When you want to install a Makuni carburetor on your CB350, you've got uh, a problem with the stock intake manifold. If you look at the carburetor side by side, you can see that your, your, um, the intake groove side. So you can notice here the Makuni is slightly larger. So that groove is further in um, versus what the stock one looks like. So that, these grooves are, I don't know if you can see it here in your manifold, there's a raised part of the manifold that will then fit into the grooves and that's what holds your carburetor in place. The problem here is, obviously, if you're swapping your stock CV to a Makuni carburetor, this doesn't fit well. Um, so you have to find aftermarket, which we do carry aftermarket Makuni uh, rubber intake manifolds for your CB350, but their design's slightly different. They're not the same. Uh, I don't think they're angled quite as much as these. Nonetheless, if these are in good shape and you wanted to use this on your Makuni carburetor, uh, Mr. Scott Turner, has come up with a way to do this. And what he's done, I'll show you this real quick. He's taken a standard, uh, I guess that's a, a some sort of a boring bit or um, uh, some sort of a mill bit or something. And what he's done is he's measured the distance from the bottom of the bit to, to this area here, which he's then notched. What happens now is he can take this intake manifold, put it into a vise or a flat platform, and s essentially move this around. And that, what's going to do, it's going to recut the intake manifold so that the groove is making your raised part and it'll match your Makuni carburetor uh, intake. I'm going to go ahead and show how this works, and, and Scott does this a little more rudimentary than uh, he just puts it in there, and you can almost see it. I was just cutting up. It's taking the existing groove away and making a new groove while taking away some of the rubber. Bear in mind that Makuni carburetor will not fit in here regardless it's way too tight so some material does have to be removed for it to fit so this is removing material as well as creating the groove for that carburetor to seat in here properly so we'll take it through this real quick and then we'll go slip it on there and see how that fits So there you have it. A nice tight fit. You might have to take a little more material, but I mean, you'll be able to play with it. And if you're doing it for the first time, just little by little, because you and can't then put you the material can back. Match it up to the inside of the carburetor, and then porting. and then match it up to your head. So the nice thing is, if you've got intake manifolds that are in good shape, why go spend money on other ones? Just cut those right. All right. Well, here's another great tip from the Dime City Garage. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Thank you. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube for more tips, tricks, and, uh, you know, shenanigans.